Hi, I'm Taya. I'm Victor. And we run Baba's Art House. So I was charged with a crime for selling art I didn't know was illegal to sell. And this is how the whole thing came about. In 2017, I was charged with this crime. And so I thought, okay, how can we get back at the system? How can we change things? And so we applied to start a chapter of the Satanic Temple here. Now there's other people who have taken it over since we started it. So we're not the headquarters, we're not affiliated with them anymore, but we still do our own practices and have our own beliefs. We have over a hundred artists now that make up our space. Our youngest is five, our oldest is 91. So there's something for everyone here. Baba in uh, Eastern European languages means grandma. And Baba is your favorite grandma, is the person that'll hug you and love you no matter what. And so we started this with that idea in mind, is that not everybody has a grandma or a safe place to go to or a place that they're accepted unconditionally. On top of selling art, also offer psychic readings, spiritual readings, sound healing, all kinds of different practices. We have the regular <clears throat> uh, Witchy Wednesday and men's social. It's just a safe space for men to come and to be able, men to express themselves, to be able to say what they need to say without having any judgment placed upon them. And to also hear a woman's point of view, an unorthodox woman's point of view. It's like spooky season for us year round. And that's kind of why we started this, is because I'm a goth kid. I grew up and I'm still a goth kid, I'm just older. And it's like, I want to be able to shop at other times other than Halloween. I, and I want it to last longer than Halloween. Mm -hmm. Really what we do to prep for the, the season is a lot of our spiritual practices. So we do a lot of smudging and clearing and um, sound sessions, but... Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we stock up on candy and, you know, we've got tons of costumes here and like anybody else, you know, we decorate. But the decorations you see here are year-round. So if you come back in July, December, October, it doesn't matter, you'll still see the same stuff up. It's just how we roll. Our sound sessions happen on the new moon and yeah. full moon. And the reason that we utilize those days is because that's when the veil between the two worlds is a little bit thinner. Also, the energy from the moon itself uh, works wonders. How, how would one feel like after a sound bath experience? Like mm -hmm. if you're looking for immediately afterwards, usually it's calm. Usually yeah. you're peaceful. Everybody's kind of trying to get back into their bodies because you go somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. And But the next couple of days, we tell you to drink a lot of water because you are clearing out stuck, stagnant energy. And that's what the sound facilitates. So that's one, like, um, how I break down how sound healing works. Say you have a glass, okay? You've probably heard of the example, the opera singer, you know, sang so loud that the glass shattered. So why that happens is because when you hit the note that you're producing with your voice, and the note that a glass, you would have a glass, and if you ding it, they would be the, ultimately they would be the same note. So because with the voice, um, you'd go louder than it, and when they resonate, the glass, the louder you get, the more it resonates. Same kind of with the bowls, the more you kind of rub them with the mallet, the more they're gonna resonate, and I've heard people shatter their bowls as well. So if you look at it from diseases perspective, how you could go about it is find the resonant note of the disease which could be tricky. Once you find that, you apply the same principle with the glass. Play that and you could break down the as cells. As loud as you can. And you could get rid of the disease. That's why I was saying it's non-invasive, but it could be invasive mm -hmm. if a person is not careful or they didn't know what to do. If it resonates with a healthy organ on your body, and if you really turn up that volume, yeah, you could hurt yourself as well. <laughs> yeah, we believe you are your own healer. And so when you come here, your idea is to heal yourself, is that you're, you're here because you have something wrong and traditional practices have said we can't do anything for you anymore. So 
okay, take a moment for yourself, listen to some nice music and focus on what you want instead of what you don't want. And then magically, or maybe not, <laughs> you know, something changes. What changes happen? Well, it's up to you. How far you want to take it. Why Satanic Temple is so appealing to me anyway, uh, the seven tenets are very, for lack of better words, um, common sense, I guess, plain logic. A little bit about my past. I've uh, played in metal bands for a long time, like death metal bands. <laughs> yeah, we were Extreme. just metalheads. We just started out metalheads, and uh, now here we are. <laughs> the, my, the band is called Va, V-A, and the new album I'm, I'm releasing is Lucifer, uh, named after my daughter. Uh, that will be a second album. First album is named Mazikin, after my other daughter. Um, but anyway, so me and Teo were there and I was playing bowls and like the insects started to like be more calm and playful, like land gracefully. And then we noticed later that, you know, there was deer that kind of lured in closer to the area and it was other just animals. Neat how and, the trees um, behave differently. The how the sound changed. Um, there is definitely a lot of misconceptions about what people um, believe that we are doing. You know, they think we're sacrificing children and there is that. There is that going on in the world and human trafficking and slave labor is something that is not talked about enough nowadays, but that's not who we are and what we do. What we do is we are accountable for ourselves and we treat others the way we want to be treated. But at the end of the day, we're all the same. We all put our pants on one leg at a time and we all eat, we all sleep, we, we all, all want to be... like to be loved, respected. We all want to be yeah. happy, we all <laughs> want to be accepted. Yeah. These are things you can't buy.